Hey friends, new and old, it's your friend Chip, and today we've got the My Little Pony Mini World Magic Bridal Wood Forest. It has over 40 plus accessories. We can see them on the side of the box. And on the back, we can see that we've got color change and we can see a little bit of a different way of putting together the playset. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box. And now we can take a look at the case. It is Izzy's cutie mark. And it's not engraved or embossed, but you can see that the picture is set in. You can feel that it's set into the front. There's no picture on the back. And we can see the difference with the Zephyr Heights one. You can see how Pip's cutie mark is engraved and there is a picture of her cutie mark printed on the other side compared to Izzy's. And we can hear all of the uh, pieces shaking around inside. This particular set didn't come with a bag of accessories like the Zephyr Heights set. This one came with everything inside the playset. and dump everything out and take a look. So it looks like we're looking at the outside of Izzy's house and we've got a nice balcony and a front door. And we can see Izzy's living room through the door. That door comes off too. Um, it looks like we've got a vanity and a bed through the upstairs windows. Pop that door back on. And down below, it's a forest floor with a stream and a pond surrounded by rocks. We got our Izzy stickers that you can decorate the case with or you can put them wherever you'd like. I'm gonna just put them in the sticker book. We got a nice little slide so they can slide right down from the balcony into the pond below. And it has an easy indication of which side is the top and which side is the bottom. And that will pop right into place. That door likes to swing open. And we got three trees. We got a pink one, a purple one, and an orange one. Like an orangey yellow. And they pop on to pegs on the forest floor. There's more pegs than trees, so you can choose which spots you want it. Each tree has a matching tree top. And you can either put them on the respective colored tree trunks or you can mix them up. The box shows that they mix them up and we can see on the bottom it's got the two spots for the tree. And on the other side we've got a spot for the pony and there's some holes for different accessories like the flowers or the crystals. Ta-da! The tree tops are much easier to put on when the tree is not attached to the playset. And if you if you take a look at the top of the tree set, you can switch the tree in the direction that it's on so that the ponies aren't all facing the same way if you attach them to the tree tops. And it came with a carabiner clip so that we can attach it to our bag for on the go. It looks very similar or identical to the one for Zephyr Heights. It's just this one is blue. It is the Unity Crystal. Get that attached. All right. Let's take a look at all the little pieces. So we've got our ponies, some fabric stars, our hanging crystals, then we got crystals that go in the ground and those are color change. We've got bushes and rocks or rocks and rocks um, and a few pieces for 
the ponies to play with. Um, these crystals, you put these little fabric flowers on them and they can hang from the treetops or they can hang from the balcony. And the flower can hang from the top of the crystal, the bottom of the crystal, or both. And once we get the little flower on and try to attach it to this balcony, these holes on the balcony are very small compared to the peg size of these crystals. It took a lot of work to get this into the hole, let alone trying to get the other crystals into the remaining holes. And then once they're in, they don't like to turn. So if it's kind of crooked, I'm afraid of turning it to make it straight down because it'll pop right out. And I had such a struggle putting it in to begin with. And it honestly took me over 10 minutes before I gave up trying to put these crystals in this balcony. We're gonna speed up the footage so that way we can get through the really long process of me trying to put those crystals in. And the pegs on the back, sometimes if it wouldn't go in the hole, it would bend the peg. So there were times I was afraid I might break the peg off the back trying to get it into the balcony where these holes are that it's supposed to go. I tried every color of crystal and I tried both ends of the crystals. And on the package, it shows that there are two that hang from the balcony and the rest they put on the tree. But there's more holes on the balcony and I wanted to put at least three on the balcony. But that wasn't going to happen. This balcony just said, no, we're not doing it. Then you get a bunch of these little I think they're bushes or rocks and these little flowers can fit into them and they can set all over. They've got them up in the treetops and they've got them on the ground. Here's one of the rock looking ones. Put some flowers in that and stick it in the forest. And then these are the color change crystals. And the flowers look like they might be color changed too, but it, the box just said the crystals. So we'll take a look and see. It, the color change takes a long time to change it to the blue and then it immediately changes back to the pink before you can even put it onto the playset. Um, so the color change in this set and in the Zephyr High set is a waste. The pieces are so small, the color change just doesn't, doesn't stay long enough. We'll just pop them all over the place that there's tons of spots to put those. And you can put flowers in the little holes on the ground as well, or in the holes in the treetops. Put them in these little bushes. There's so many of these little rocks and bushes as accessories. I think that's extremely disappointing. I don't want five rocks and I don't want five bushes that literally just hang out on the forest floor. It could have been something better. You could have given little animals or other little trinkets for Izzy to play with down there. It just, it was a lot of rocks and a lot of bushes. We did get a bowl of popcorn or maybe it's grinded up pony hooves. You know, you know, you know. Trying to get it to set on a rock up there and use a rock as a stand, but it doesn't really work that well. But it's gonna hang out up there, because that's where they're eating. And we got a little book 
The book doesn't have any writing on it or any designs. It's just a little book. And we'll put it in that tree top. And we got a picnic basket. And we'll put that over by the stream. And we got a slice of cake. We can put that over by the boat. And this set came with two ponies. This is Alphabetal. And it's nice to have a um, figure of him. He's got his nice teapot cutie mark, his little whiskers and beard. And Alphabetal was a Generation 3 pony and did not look anything like this at all. And we've got Izzy. And Izzy's hair is kind of pearlescent. It does have the gradient from blue to purple. And she has her little heart and button cutie mark. Let me get closer if you can see that. So cute. I love these little ponies. I like the ponies more than I like the play sets that come with it. These would be great blind bag ponies to me. Let's have her go down the slide. Woo! Right into the river. All in all, it's a pretty cool set. I really like it. I didn't like how hard it was to put the crystal pegs into the um, balcony. That was that was a pain, and I did not like that I got a billion rocks as accessories. We're gonna take it all apart and see how easy it is to close. It. I know that it all fits because it was all in there when I got it. Um, but getting this to close is a whole nother story. But it does all come apart pretty quick, um, which is nice because you know you're going to tell the child, hey, we got to go in five minutes, pick that up. You know it'll take them a minute to get to the point where they're going to start taking it apart and picking it up. And then how long is it going to take them to take that apart and get it to shut so that you can get going without them getting frustrated and throwing a fit and losing pieces. It, it, it doesn't close very easily. It's the slide that really is the problem and trying to get that in the right spot where it can close. It, it was a long, probably three, four minutes of trying to get it to shut. We're gonna speed some of this, uh, trying to get it closed. Because I thought, well, maybe this balcony comes off. Maybe the door's got to come off. Um, but it was all like this when I got it. So I know that it'll close. Finding where that slide has to sit that it doesn't hit that balcony. So try to put the slide in on the balcony, in the balcony when you close it. And it should help you close it. Otherwise, it's going to be a pain in the butt. I don't want a bunch of tiny rocks as accessories. I think there's a lot of little accessories that can get lost, 40 plus accessories. And a child's gonna lose one and throw a fit because they had to put it all together and then play with it for five minutes and then tear it all apart to close it all up. You're gonna suck half these parts up into your vacuum cleaner. But I love these. I think they're super fun. I'm a Polly Pocket fan at heart. Well, thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoyed hanging out, give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Click the notification bell so you never miss a thing. Oh, and if we aren't friends yet, you know exactly what to do. Hit that subscribe button. And until next time, bye!